where our road comes out to this main road. I forget the number of it. What is it? Yeah. Our campground's just right there. In fact, that's our RV right there that you can see. So we're real close to the campground. Well, here's on the back side of our campground. Pretty good sized little mountain structure here. I don't know if it's got a name. We're trying to find a way to get up on top, but so far have not been successful. It's pretty cliffy. That's looking behind us. We've been following a two track road, but this is the end of the road. Been several campsites along the way, even though it said no camping. This is BLM land. Uh, so the road ended because of this little cliff. But I think we can get down here somehow. Okay, so we're kind of down in the valley here. On the back side of the campground. We're still trying to get to the top of this thing somehow. There's supposed to be some petroglyphs back here too, but I don't know where they are. I haven't seen any yet. We're going to try and see what that looks like right there, that spine of dirt and trees. Otherwise it's all cliffs. There's a game trail going up there I can see from here. Let's go see. Well, we're following a fairly steep game trail. It's like a deer trail. That's part of it. Now it goes up here. Julie will show you how you do it. Kind of loose sand too. Well, we're getting higher. Elaine's still on the game trail. Actually, we left the game trail. You gonna come out? Well, we made it to the top of the game trail. That was the hard part. We still got a little wall to get by here. I think there's a saddle right over here though. Well, this is the saddle point. It's still a little tall to shimmy up here or shinny up, whatever it is. But, there just so happens to be a tree growing out of it, right at the right spot, with a limb, that's going to allow us to get up here, I think. I'm going to get up here. Can't you step in the log more? I'm going to put my right foot up there. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Careful now. How is it? Very cool. Well, we made it to the top, at least of this saddle, thanks to that little tree right there. So we came all the way across that, uh, to the right of that hole, all the way across that area there, the lowland where the, the uh, river comes through when it rains. And then we climbed up this game trail over here. All the way up there, then we traversed across this rock face that I'm standing on and climbed up this tree, and here we are. Here's the back side. Uh, we're looking at Canyonlands over here somewhere, this direction. Canyonlands National Park. It's uh, several miles down the road, but it's down that way. And our whistling, what is it? Wind whistle. And our wind whistle campground is on the other side of this ridge. So maybe we'll climb up here and walk around the, the top here and see what we find.
Nice mountain range in the background there. I don't know what it is exactly, but that must be up towards uh, Moab, isn't it? That way. Yeah. So we came, we made it to the top of the rim here. We were going to go up so we could see the campground, but uh, we're still deciding. We might just stay here and enjoy the view here. Which is pretty good. There's some nice cottonwoods turning colors down in the valley there. Okay, now we have got all we got to do is figure a way to get back down there. Here we go. Well, we made it down the little wall here, thanks to the pine tree. He's a good little tree. Got it. What do you think about the rocks there? That's a nice way to use your poles for going downhill. And that's a pretty steep hill right there too. There's a little tree up there in the saddle that allowed us to climb up there. So we're back down now for the most part. Uh, not all the way, but quite a ways. That was a fun little climb. saddle up there again. Well, that's looking back at the saddle we were in and the sand ridge we came up to climb the cliffs, came across the valley, now we're starting up this other rock face. Back to the road. Kind of angling our way up this. We're back on the two track road. We could have driven up here a little farther, but our vehicle is not super high clearance. And this one gets a little rough in a couple spots. I think we're just around the corner of this knob in front of us. There's our saddle that we made it up to. I think it was about a 650 foot climb elevation wise. 
I'll give you the final rundown when we get back to the vehicle. Okay, we're back at our vehicle, which is just on a dirt road around the corner from the Wind Whistle Campground. We're probably about a half mile from our campsite. Uh, we could have driven further down that road if you had a higher clearance vehicle, but we didn't. Uh, we hiked just over 3 miles, 3.1 miles, and the total ascent was 925, something like that. So, so it's a fun little climb. Uh, we didn't ever get around to seeing the overlook of the campground, but you probably could if you're a little more ambitious and really wanted to see it. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. And